Hello, in this video I'll explain the three stages of sine wave motion in Taekwondo. When performing a Taekwondo technique, you go through various phases during the movement. Sine wave motion is synchronized with three of those phases. The first stage of sine wave motion is synchronized with the phase just before you wind up for the technique. I like to call it the relax phase, where you assume a comfortable and balanced body position in which to initiate the technique. And if you happen to be stepping or changing stance, it will also involve loading the weight onto the foot of the balancing leg. Very often during this stage, you will adopt what I like to call a neutral position. In this position, the arms are generally kept in front of you with the elbows slightly bent so that you're fairly well protected and in a good position to perform a wide variety of techniques because you're not fully committed to any particular technique at this stage. As you can see from these examples, the approach of each technique is very similar because a neutral position was adopted. Often your body drops slightly during the first stage of sine wave motion and this is because you bend your knees as you relax. But this is not always the case. In the next video of this series, I'll show you some examples where your body doesn't drop. But moving on to the second stage of sine wave motion, this is synchronized with the phase where you wind up for a technique, sometimes called the preparatory phase or the wind up phase. Here, the appropriate muscles are lengthened in order to be in a position to generate more force and momentum when they contract concentrically in the next phase. If stepping or changing stance, the balancing foot starts to drive the body towards the stance to be adopted for the technique. When using sine wave motion, the body will raise up during this preparatory phase. And this is so that you can suddenly drop for the next phase. The third stage of sine wave motion is synchronized with the execution phase. This is where you contract the muscles to accelerate the limbs to execute the technique. The body will drop sharply to adopt the appropriate stance as the technique is executed. One of the reasons why you drop your body in the third stage is to produce more power in an efficient way. And I'll explain the science of this in a future video. So to summarize, sine wave motion is in three stages. During the first stage, your body will relax, go into a balanced position before you initiate the technique. In the second stage, your body will raise as you wind up for the technique. And in stage three, your body will drop sharply as you execute the technique and adopt the appropriate stance. Now I've heard many people describe the three stages of sine wave motion as down, up, down. But this can lead to some misconceptions as I'll explain in the next video. I prefer to describe it as relax and balance, up, down. But there's more to sine wave motion than just the up and down motion due to the bending of the knees. The arms also play an important part in synchronizing with the sine wave motion. So as your body relaxes, goes up and down, your arms will relax, wind up and accelerate in a synchronized way. And remember, as I explained in parts one and two of this series, your body and limbs will move smoothly during the transitions of the three stages of sine wave motion. So please join me for the next video where I'll explain why the body doesn't always drop in the first stage of sine wave motion.